Thanks for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. And a huge shout out to Black Market Comics for this interview. This interview has been one that I've been working on for quite some time. Um, he filmed his parts about six weeks ago, so that was before the reholder scam. I just wanted to say that because this that plays no role in any of this. And I've been trying to find a way to kind of put this all together. And it just it's taken a little while, but I definitely wanted to make sure to put it out there and allow people to hear what people are going through with CGC. Just give a raw account of what people have had to deal with over at CGC um, and with their books. So check out this interview. It's not the typical interview style that we do, but definitely one worth watching. Hey there guys. Uh, first, thank you very much for having me um, on today's show, giving me the ability to talk about my issues with CGC. I did recently decide not to use CGC anymore for my cleaning and pressing. Um, mainly because of all the flaws, uh, not all the flaws, I'm sorry, all the mishaps that have been going on. Uh, right now, the final straw was them uh, losing 15 of uh, my submissions. Just They're gone. I know that they were picked up from the post office because a signature was required at that, at that end. But when they picked it up and, and took it back to wherever CGC is storing these books, uh, it's gone. It's missing. The worst part of dealing with CGC has to be the lack of a customer service number, I think. And call me old fashioned, but if I have a complaint to a company, I want to be able to talk to somebody on the other line. Um, you know, I don't care where they're going through, whether they're in-house customer service or if they're contracting with a third party to provide customer service. At least give me somebody to talk to, to vent to. Uh, right now, as a complaint system is, um, do you initiate that with uh, a form? Of course, a form. Uh, on their website and somebody uh, will email you on the email that you list about the situation that could take up to I've had it take up to about a week to get a response just the initial response with hey we received your complaint we're looking into it uh, as a as a presser I, when I first started about four years ago I didn't think that I would end up I, I thought that I was constantly going to have to submit to CGC um, once I had started, most of these guys just want their books looking good and they keep them raw or they keep them in a nice mylar. Um, they don't often submit to CGC and if they are, um, they're buying instead of submitting. Uh, it's less of a gamble. Uh, but the, uh, I have noticed that I do receive slabs when I get asked to crack a slab to improve the grade. Often times, the the graders notes will say one thing uh, about how they graded it maybe finger bends or um a spine tick but uh they don't talk about the flaws that they cause on their own books during the sealing process a lot of the times i see their inner sleeves getting uh, catching the book so when it gets sealed up it imprints it presses down into that cover and if it's a cardstock cover that doesn't impress completely through then it gives pressing a uh, little chance of fixing it I think I've said this already, but the one of the most frustrating things to work with, with them is reporting issues to begin with. Uh, you know, you go to the website, you fill out the form, they get back to you. I'm not going to pretend that they're taking forever to get back to you either. Sometimes they were getting back to me within two or three days, business days, of course, um, and that's that's fine. Um, but when they take more than that, it, it's ineffective. Uh, on, on top of that, their ticketing system. So if you report a problem, if they can't fix it immediately with just you know, like, hey, you know, here's the status of your order or you know, whatever your question is. If they can't fix it immediately, they escalate the issue and they do that with um, what they call like urgent tickets. Um, I get an email with some random number that I have no idea what to do with other than to refer it back to them. But then again, um, you know, it is what it is. They're not giving you any kind of turnaround time at that point. They just tell you like this has a ticket. So it has the attention of another department, I guess, is the appeal of that. Um, I, I, I appreciate the end-to-end, -end, uh, from an end-to-end -end process, dealing with only one customer service person on their end. That's great. Uh, it, but, you know, give me some more information of, uh, about these tickets and how they're resolved. Uh, the decline, I noticed a poor, I think everybody has heard that CGC sucks for various reasons, whether it was because they take so long with a book or because they um, lose stuff. Uh, I mean, I've heard it all even before I had... Uh, become officially, uh, um, uh, what do they call those? Uh, the membership, I paid for a membership. Uh, and, and 
you, you knew it going in, so I saw it right away. Uh, I knew that they were doing a poor job with their quality control, and as soon as I started getting uh, books to re to to crack and reslab, uh, regrade, I would see where their flaws were in their own process. Uh, that being the imprintation, the imprints that be, uh, happen within the inner sleeve when they're slabbing a book. Uh, sometimes the heat seals aren't completely through. I have a slab right now that has a hair in it. Um, the hair has already worked its way into the book. <laughs> uh, and it's not one of mine because it's in the inner, inner sleeve. Um, and I see that constantly. I've also seen inner sleeves cracked a lot. Um, not the outside. The outside's fine. It's just when they put the comic in the inner sleeve, it's getting damaged before they're putting it in the acrylic case. So a lot of, I know, jargon there. Um, basically, I saw their flaws first and their lack of quality control. And then I'm starting to see everything else, like their customer service flaws. Uh, some of the highlights of working with CGC have been kind of few and far between. Um, modern books, they're getting out quick. I'll give them that. They're getting them out within a, a two, three week period. Um, for moderns, if you're doing anything other than that, you're going to wait a little bit. I haven't had a book that's been held on to for more than probably six months. I know there's some horror stories out there about 12, 15, 17 months missing. Well, except for that missing bundle of 15 books that they're still, they have in their possession. They better have in their possession. <laughs> uh, but the highlight is, I think, just the turnaround time on moderns. Uh, as far as how many I've sent them with my own account is a different number than what I've sent them in general. But typically, I don't slab my own personal collections. I don't because I've seen so many mistakes from all companies. You know, you, if I were to switch, not if, when I work with CBCS, they're a little bit better. But I know people personally who have had, uh, they were affected a couple months ago by that, um, the, the theft, the warehouse theft that they had. Uh, lost a, a ton of books. Just, they were stolen from the warehouse, and you know CBCS is trying to do what they can do to make it right. But um, you know, I haven't worked too much with EGS. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just don't slap my own books anymore. I keep them raw. As far as grading uh, services, I'll still send to CGC if somebody uses their own account and sends me the packing slip. Um, I'll still I'll still do that. I'm not gonna you know deny somebody in a simple task of mailing a. Uh, uh, a certified, um, you know, package to them. Um, but I do submit to e CBCS uh, if you need an account. But those accounts are free, so most of the time I just talk people through how to create their own accounts. That way they can send me the packing slip, and then they'll be updated whenever they want if they just log into their systems. Same thing with EGS. They don't charge a membership fee, so I'll take the packing slips. Uh, I'll I'll do the submission uh, if... Maybe the customer is, is un, uh, unfamiliar with how to put the, the form together and just request that I do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it at no extra charge. Um, but as far as CGC goes, I, don't, I will not be using my own account with them. I have not renewed the account. I have no plans on renewing the account. Um, I'll still purchase slabs where I want if I see something interesting, but it's got to be really interesting. Otherwise, I'm only buying raw. So as far as influencers go, um, that pay to grade system sucks. It's very obvious. You know, they'll have whatever um, uh, exclusive come out for them and then start promising people that you can get up to a 9.9 or a 10.0 when we all know that those are supposed to be extremely rare. Uh, handling the books after printing, even the printing process itself creates flaws on most books, period, most comics, period. That's it. Um, so, you know, they obviously pain play. And there's other aspects of, of immoral behavior from influencers that are maybe abusing their standing in the community uh, with cutting in line stuff. Like that. That's not either here nor there. As far as this, the CGC goes, I strongly believe that as a grading company, they should try to be as neutral as possible and be as, as transparent as possible. And there's little to no transparency coming from a lot of different aspects of what CGC does. Hey, and uh, lastly, I, I want to thank you for giving me this platform to kind of speak to what my experience has been with the company. I don't want to uh, tell anybody not to use them. I don't want to tell anybody not to to buy their slabs and collect their slabs. It's not my place. Um, but from a personal standpoint, I wanted to make sure that my customers knew that I'll send to CGC. I just don't have my own account anymore. I'm not going to renew it. Um, but again, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, 
you know, you find me at black underscore market underscore comics. I'm pretty much everywhere on social media. Uh, and thanks, thanks again.